All right, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about doing geometric dimension tolerancing in AutoCAD Mechanical. So here we have two parts. We have a rectangle and we have a circle. We're going to call that a counterbore. For instance, I want to put a, a datum on this part. Make sure you go to Annotate. Right here is your datum or your datum identifier. Click on it. And click on your geometry, pull it out, then right click, enter, and then make that whatever datum that you wanted. Alright, say you want to put a reference frame. Uh, this is where you put your reference frame. So you want to put a reference frame on this edge, pull it down, let's click on this edge it down to the right or left and then right click enter and then here's where you've got all your geometric symbols flatness uh, circularity angularity perpendicular we're going to put a perpendicular uh, reference frame we're going to say it's perpendicular to a uh, b and c now if you want to go in and change your settings you can go in here to change your settings uh, as far as your arrowhead, your text height, you can change your colors here. Uh, you can merge uh, datums if you want to. I'm going to hit OK. And uh, basically hit, uh, this is what I want. I'm going to hit OK. And there's your reference frame. I'd rather see these a little different. Let's do another one here. Let's take it from here. And let's bring it up like so and then right click. Uh, this one we're going to say a flatness of 0.003 and we're going to go from data A and data C. So we'll just do a secondary on this one. Hit OK and you're good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and put a, since we don't have a datum B, we're going to go ahead and put one here. Call this datum B. So we've got this side covered, that side covered, of course we don't have the Z, so Z would be the C if we had a Z. Alright, to uh, easily put symbols on here for a counterbore, you can do the uh, leader note, click on it, pull it out, uh, right click to start your leader note. Here is, say you're got, this hoe is a point uh, one, two, five through. Hit enter. Uh, we're going to have a counterbore on this one. Here's your symbols. These are all your symbols, plus or minus, counterbores. All right. We've got a counterbore, a point two, five, oh. And then we're going to put a depth symbol. Depth symbol of point uh, zero, six, two, five. Hit OK, and there that is, pretty easily. All right, say you want to put a tolerance. Uh, say you, you have a deviation tolerance on this. You're going to have to use your uh, power dimension. Click here, click here, click here. Go up here to tolerance. All right, uh, and right here is your, go ahead hit tolerance. Right here is your methods. These are your deviation. I'm going to put a deviation, I'm going to say uh, 0 0.010 for my upper, and then for my lower, I'm going to be 0 .03. Uh, got to be careful and make sure you put a minus on there. All right, we'll put it 0 .03. Let's try that. All right, and there's your deviation tolerance. Uh, and when you're done, just hit close and escape. All right, so that's how to use mechanical to put uh, datums, reference frames here, tolerances. Say you want a tolerance on a, on a hole, this one here, uh, and you want a fit tolerance. You can uncheck this tolerance, go to fit. Uh, we're going to go find, uh, go to symbol. We're going to do a hole. And we'll do a running clearance. 
and just say RC and then you can go to one notice that your chart over here changes we're going to do just a regular five hit OK and basically what you've done there is an RC5 fit you can look at your back of your book to see what an RC5 is that's a, it's a clearance hole since it is a hole but you have the ability also if you click on here to do if that was a shaft you can go to shaft and these are your different fits on your shaft okay uh, any questions don't hesitate to let me know again this is using AutoCAD mechanical to put reference frames uh, datums uh, tolerance, tolerances and regular call outs for counterbores so much easier to do with uh, mechanical